Need some inspiration? My next guest has got you covered. Say hello to actress, writer, singer, and business owner, Nikki Gilbert. We talk about her passion for having a vision and executing it. Everything starts pen to pad, whether it's a song, whether it's a play, whether it's a film, mm -hmm. put it on paper and have it actually manifest into something dope. The necessity of ownership in the entertainment industry and the importance of women empowering women. I am now of the mindset that we're gonna own, produce, create, manage the narrative, have control over the images. Right. We're going to offer equity to our sister content creators. I'm loving this purple. Eggplant. I know, we're trying to decide if it's purple, if it's egg. No, it's absolutely eggplant. It's eggplant, I yes. think. Yeah. It's eggplant, and it looks It's so beautiful. comfortable, thank you. Yeah, and I don't, purple isn't necessarily my thing. I don't like purple, but this it's a new thing looks for amazing me. on you. This it's is a, good. Thank you. Yes. It's a new thing for me. It's our logo is purplish. And I was just like, you know what? I wonder what that color would look the like. The Worf I mean. TV. Yes. Look, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. It's very, yes. It's very purple. Well, I was going to serenade Regal. you when you first came on set. Were and I was going to be like, if you love me. Say it. And then I was like, I'm not going to do that to her. <laughs> it's embarrassing for me. She'll be embarrassed for no, me. No, I like to get serenaded. <laughs> I mean, it's like a chef who wants to be cooked for, right? I'm a singer who loves to be sung to. But what if the food is bad? It's the thought that counts. OK. Prove no. it. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. A okay. for effort. Oh, okay. I've, heard, I've a, definitely no. heard worse. OK. And that's really. For sure, that's it. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. It? Well, singer. Yes. Songwriter. Yes. Executive producer, playwright, yes. business owner, mom, wife. Like, I'm running out of space on my car. And Nana, my most favorite role ever. Nana, you have a grandbaby. So it was just, yes. you know, and then as we, as the story evolved and we understood what the book was about, get it, Brown Girls, Brown Stones, but just a becoming and realizing um, who you are mm -hmm. and what you represent, it just was, it fit us. It made sense. Yeah. And I think, too, it made sense, too, because, you know, we're talking, 20 years ago or so, but. No, honey, we're talking almost 30. That's 30 years? Yeah. See, math wasn't my thing my either, God. clearly. Yeah. <laughs> That's what Our 30 years? Our first album came out 28 years ago. I'm not, I'm not. Yeah. That. I know, oh. none of us are. I don't know how I looked up and was in the industry for 30 years. No. I have no idea. Friend, that was. I feel like I just got here yesterday. That was 15, 18 years ago, friend. That's, That's a long time, but That's it. That's it. That's, That's all it That's was. That's what we claiming. You so. know, I feel like empowerment starts within. Mm -hmm. And I was empowering me. I was empowering a chubby little girl from Detroit who had every reason to give up and go home to stay. And, and I was, the way they call my friends, call them the cold geeks. Cause we say geeked up in Detroit. Like you mm. geeked, oh, you just geeked, you know? <laughs> and I was always geeked and I geeked other people up and I empowered a lot of women um, in the process, I do believe. Such and such and such, we're so, on our way out the door to women. This is why women are so important. Mm. And allies, two white women, Marla McNally, Linda Blum. What was that up there? What were y'all doing? Oh, we were singing songs I wrote. Want to hear them here? Here they go. Sang again. She said, I want to take you somewhere. She took us to Jerry Greenberg. Jerry Greenberg introduced us, who was the head of MJJ at the time. We did not know it. Um, and then that led to the deal of a lifetime with Michael Jackson. Wow. From being stranded in the desert. From being stranded in the um, desert. But also, the beautiful product that was born out of the tragedy. And isn't that funny how that happens sometimes, right? Yeah. It's like the worst things happen, and if, if we do it right, and you understand what I'm saying here. Of course. Is that there is a, there really is a silver lining in this stuff. Yeah, absolutely. So you've got a beautiful you organization know what? I, that. I can't even, I forgot, I have to say this. My friend, who is, who is my friend, one of the few friends I feel like I have in this industry. Faith Evans, we've known each other forever. Yep. When I was going through the R&B Divas thing, she was just like, friend. Cause you know, she'd been through hell and how, you know, Faith knows how to deal with it by not dealing with it. Right. I'm from Detroit. I'm like, no, I'm gonna tell you about yourself and what you <laughs> did and that I didn't like it. But Faith said to me, when you're coming from the right place, you can't go wrong. And a faith that has not been tested cannot be trusted. Mm. This is what you have to go through to get to where you gotta go to. That's it. Right. Because it's the learnings, really. Yes. Right? It's the learnings. And a great coach. My husband is an awesome coach. Shout out to your husband. Because he's a straight up warrior, retired Marine, ain't about this life. Like, this is what you do. I'm like, okay. And that's it. 
<laughs> it's Michelle Taylor Willis. I'm here every Wednesday at 10 a.m. and 7 p.m. right here on the VTV network. I know you got Amazon Fire or Roku. Would you download it and watch the show? Nikki is counting on you guys. I gotta go, I'm hungry. So <laughs> until next time.